I'm so excited for this video. You guys actually voted and helped me decide on this year's Project Pan. I asked if you guys wanted to see only makeup, only skincare, or a mix of both after I uploaded the video and posted a poll. And you guys spoke loud and clear. You said only skincare. I think that's a testament to the way that the times have changed. People are like much more interested in like how to take care of their skin versus how to like cake on makeup and like look like a completely different person. That's just my take on it at least. But sorry to disappoint my skincare girlies. I'm gonna do a mix of both. It is gonna be mostly skincare though. I have a few items that I was just like excited to include in my next project pan. So I still wanna put those in, but it's honestly gonna be mostly skincare. Skincare. I feel like my skincare project pan is gonna be very successful and move a lot quicker than makeup because like a I'm using skincare like all the time day and night versus makeup I like wasn't always putting makeup on but also B most of like the things that I want to use up for skincare are like almost used up anyway so this is just like that extra push that extra motivation to get through it all thank you guys so much for voting if you voted by the time like I screenshot and post the results like it might be a little bit different i'm not sure like if youtube polls ever honestly close yeah no i'm so excited to show you guys what i'm deciding to use up and i want to start off with makeup first this first thing is just like a basic everyone has it it's a black pencil eyeliner from wet n wild is super cheap i bought it for halloween because you know i don't know i just get sucked into the whole like dressing up i actually didn't even use it as eyeliner i used it as whiskers to be remy from ratatouille and it was cute it worked but now i'm stuck with an entire pencil and i knew that going into it that like okay if i buy this i'm gonna have to use it so what better way to use it up than put it in my project pan i've seen like the rockstar girlfriend look kind of resurface now my eyes are a little bit like hooded and drawn in a little bit so it's not the most flattering look on me but today i did put like a smudge just on my outer third of like my waterline and that was a way to use it and then I've also really been into like perfecting like the fox eye eyeliner makeup and everything so I've been trying that as well I'll do like powder first like eyeshadow and then I'll go in with like an angled brush and like put this on top I cannot use this just straight from the pencil on my eyelid my eyelids are too greasy and it's just not for me so I've been trying to be experimental and use this in a bunch of different ways I think I'll pan this maybe not like super quickly but with persistence I think I'll get there my second one is actually a palette that I used to adore and love and that's Tartlet and the Bloom eyeshadow palette by Tarte. I'm including this because I really love it and I do want to get back into it and use it up but also a lot of shadows have broken or fallen out completely in this palette. There are three shadows that are either fully fallen out or completely busted like I can't actually tip this over too much or all of the shadows gonna fall out it's as best as I can show you this is probably as close as it's gonna get but all of these shadows are very much so my shade I really like this palette because of how light it is and only has like three really dark shades and this shade has been great for like my brown eyeliner smoke show isn't even like a black it's like a really deep dark brown um and then funny girl broke and fell out which was like the golden shade that i actually really love to use and then leader also broke and fell out and then activist activist is left i also just love the names in this like it's inspiring it's empowering it makes me feel like confident every time i use it which is like funny but it's like when you see an affirmation time and time again it like really reminds you of who you are <laughs> so i really love this palette i'm excited to keep using it and use it up eventually i am gonna try to fix this shade and use like alcohol like crush it up use rubbing alcohol and then like repress it i've seen that work before so i'm gonna try that i'm excited to pan this one and that is gonna be the only makeup products i use this smells so good by the way it's so, like chocolatey so those are gonna be the only makeup products in my 
pan. And then I have nine, yes, nine skincare products to show you, totaling for 11. But I'm doing that because I feel like one of them I'm gonna use up super, super soon. So I just wanted to include another one because I felt like it would be just really boring to be like, yeah, I use this up and like move on to the next. So I have an extra as like a backup. I actually have three different like washes here in front of me. This is a micellar water. This I actually got from a friend um, in India and I'm about halfway through it, but I just feel like I need to be more dedicated. And I'm gonna bring this with me on my travels so I can use this up. Normally I use like a makeup removing oil, but I feel like this will be just as good and it's like also still gentle for sensitive skin. I realized recently that like I have sensitive skin as tough as I thought I was. Like I said, the goal isn't to just like go through things super quickly, but to genuinely like use them up. You'll see with a lot of products that I have that they're kind of just like sitting around almost and like I forget that they're there or I get something new or I get a trial size and like I just need to use them up. I like to use these with my reusable bamboo rounds or cotton rounds. This is also a cleanser but it's also a face mask and that is my oat cleansing balm. It helps remove makeup and cleanse sensitive skin. This is by The Inky List. I almost worked my way all the way through this and then just like stopped at the last second. I feel like I do this with a lot of things in life whether it's food, skincare, makeup, books like is there like a reason I do that does anyone want to psychoanalyze me really quickly in the comments like why do I get all the way here and I'm like oh I'm almost done and then just like stop <laughs> I would love to know but I think what I'm gonna focus using this as a nourishing face mask it says leave it on for 10 minutes and I love dual purpose products like this I think maybe I was like afraid to run out of it so I was like oh I just want to save it but like I don't use it I just need to use it up this probably has like four oh wow almost burst everywhere probably has like three to five more uses in it if that this will probably be finished very quickly okay i have another face wash this is my panoxyl 10 percent benzoyl peroxide wash funny thing about this is actually the second one i have i have one in my shower that just sits there when i use it like for my back and everything and my shoulders this i actually do use daily but i need to use up both of those before i can get the correct percentage i'm supposed to be using five percent so what I use is this and then half of gentle skin cleanser and mix it together it's like hopefully bring it down to like five percent so I just want to use this up so I can get like the thing that actually works for me versus trying to like like make a cocktail of skincare every morning when like it would just be so much easier to just wash my face like I'm meant to I just want to use this up so I don't feel bad about wasting it because like I do have a solution that works so like, I'm gonna keep on keep it on you know okay I'm gonna move into treatments and masks I have two things that are really nearing empty the first is by Crave Beauty it's the Kalaluya spinach parsley aloe glycolic acid hyaluronic acid and vitamin b5 skin exfoliators i used to really love this until i realized how sensitive my skin was and this was just kind of like tearing at my skin barrier so i stopped using it i want to use this for my hair though as a clarifying treatment so i'm gonna use this sometime soon i know this is like skincare this is a skincare product but it is something i could use for my hair i have like a decent bit of use is left in this and how I've been using this is I've been putting it on my hands and then just applying to my skin versus wasting a lot of product using a cotton round but I'm gonna see how I can use this for my hair now I'm very excited to use this up Crave Beauty is something I loved and it's just like a product that's been like hard to use with my skincare journey but I want to like incorporate it in a way that's like safe and good for my sensitive skin because before I was just like applying so much and it definitely was not good for my skin so I want to like reframe my relationship to toners and exfoliators as like a extra spruce up versus like a constant need and tearing into my skin because that obviously wasn't good for me on that note I have a toner glow recipe watermelon PHA plus BHA pore tight toner I have been using this. This was a gift from my friend Molly. She actually got me this little duo set. So both of these are in my skincare project pan. And this is Waterman Glow, Niacinamide Dew Drops as well. So this is toner. This is like brightening dew drop stuff. I really love this stuff. The only thing about these products is that they smell 
heavily like watermelon and having sensitive skin i don't really lean towards things that have any sort of scent i'm not sure if this is like the best thing for me but i, I mean i really do love the consistency of both of them they do feel like dewy and moisturizing and not like stripping they don't feel harmful but then i like i'm second guessing it because of the scent i'm not really sure but i do love both of these and i'm hoping to use them up like i got this a month ago and i've already used so much of the dew drops i think this is really good for also oil control and like making sure my skin is moisturized and not like over producing oil because it's lacking its natural oils the toner is an interesting consistency it's like kind of like thick almost so i know i have like two toners here this one like i said i'm going to use for hair hopefully i can find how to do that safely without like damaging my cuticles or scalp or whatever and then this will be for face um neck and chest and then of course the dew drops this is just something i apply in the morning before i put on my moisturizer but after i put on my prescription medication next i have two face masks so i have this one from tula skincare this is the probiotics and superfoods so smooth resurfacing and brightening fruit enzyme mask i love this stuff this again though was something that I was using too often so all of these toners and everything and like masks I want to use in moderation and this is like good for sensitive skin so I'm in the clear with that that's why I got it in the first place when I first realized I had sensitive skin and I just think it's gonna be good to kind of like keep my pores clear in between facials or extractions and now that I'm saying that out loud I'm like why haven't I been using this because I need something like this I guess I've just been a little afraid to reintroduce something so strong into my routine or do it weekly or whatever just in case like my skin negatively reacted to it i want it to be on the safe side but now that i'm sitting here talking about it this is definitely something that's gonna like help keep my pores clear and tight and just like maintained in between facials so i think that's gonna be great to use up and my last mask i actually feel like this is empty but this is the bad habit 10 minute rehab green juice charcoal detox mask i don't know maybe there's like one or two more uses in here but it feels empty so maybe this is like a bust of a product to put in here but that's why i have a few backups i have actually really loved this is something i think is out of business and i think emma chamberlain like collabed with bad habit and i used their acai super jelly whatever kind of love that it just felt too tacky i really discovered like i'm an oil girly i just need makeup oil remover like if i'm going to use any sort of like jelly cleanser it has to be just straight up oil but i love this mask i've repurchased it a few times and it's really good for like my nose area and like in here in specific and like just the crevices of like my nose and my chin i just want to use this up and like finally be rid of it lastly i have my avino daily moisturizing face cream for dry skin this is fragrance free i used to really love vino but this just wasn't like cutting it for me i learned best from my guy hiram if you have skincare that just isn't cutting it for your face use it for your feet so i'm gonna use it on my hands right now ah yeah it definitely gives me that like slippery kind of feeling not that like quenching kind of feeling and i think that's why i had to just stop using it it just wasn't for me but now that i'm using it right now i think this would be something great to use right before i do my makeup actually moisturize my skin but like kind of act as like a filmy layer between my skin and like makeup that i'm putting on top maybe that's what i'll use it for as well as i'm going through these products and like touching them again and like experiencing the textures the scent and just kind of like the experience of using those products again i'm like oh this is what i could use it for now and like that's honestly the point of project pan is to use up what you have before you go out and buy something new and i'm actually really excited to get into a skincare project pan i feel like this has been a long time coming for me especially going through my recent journey of just like overhauling my skincare routine and trying so many different things and just thinking more is more when it, in truth like less is more when it comes to skincare so i've accumulated a lot and i'm going to need to figure out how to use up those things so being creative is just part of that process but yeah i'm very excited to go through this with you guys now i will say i don't think i'll be putting like pictures of the products like i did for like makeup obviously unless it is makeup but for my skincare i think what i'll be doing is just like marking and like pen 
where the product was when I first did the update and then when I compare again we'll see how much lower the line has gotten so I'm excited for that I think that's the best way to do it so that's just my intro of all the products and I cannot wait until the next one I always love seeing how much progress I can make and like it feels really good just like getting through things and working your way through them as I've had this Aveeno on my hands though it's already like balling up and that's kind of what I was talking about like it would pill up and just like feel weird on my skin so maybe I can't use it on my hands anyway okay thank you guys so much for tuning in go ahead and check out my last project pan I'll leave that linked up here as well as in the description so you can see like makeup that I've really worked my way through I'm honestly considering converting like my little makeup drawer into like a skincare drawer I'm just like downsizing everything in my life that's like always the goal but thank you again and I hope to catch you guys in the next video until then don't forget to be kind to yourself others and the planet and I'll see you soon. Bye.